In this video, we will discuss the gateways as lesson 5 in module 7 Power Apps Administration. Let's begin with the lesson outlines. In this lesson, we will discuss how the gateways work. After that, we will list the types of gateways and the prerequisites to use on brain these gateways. At the end of this lesson, we will have a demo to create and manage gateways. The on-premises data gateway acts as a bridge that transfers data quickly and securely between on-premises data that isn't in the cloud and the several Microsoft cloud services. By using a gateway, organizations can keep databases and other data sources on their on-premises networks while securely using that on-premises data in cloud services. Let's go deeply on how the gateway works. The aim of using the Brimses Data Gateway We just mentioned that the gateway is the bridge between the Brimses data sources and the cloud services. First, I have some Brimses data sources such as SQL Server and the Brimses SharePoint site and I want to connect to this Brimses data sources through the cloud services such as Power Apps, Power BI, Power Automate and so on. First, this cloud services prepare the query and the credential for embrimsis data and push it to the gateway queue for the processing. Then, the role of the gateway cloud services that take this query and analyze it and encrypt the credential for the embrimsis data sources and push it through the Azure service bus to the embrimsis data gateway. Then the on-premises data gateway decrypts this data source's credentials and connect it to the on-premises data source. It sends the queries to this on-premises data source and once the on-premises data source reveals the queries result, it push it again to the on-premises data gateway that sends it through the Azure service bus to the cloud service that throws the result back to the cloud services. And now the cloud services can use the results for the query. So the gateway cloud service here encrypt and store the data credential and on premises data gateway details also. And it routes the query and results between the cloud services and the on premises data sources through the on premises data gateway. This is how the gateways work in details. There are types of the on premises gateways. Actually, there are two types of on premises gateway. One is on-premises data gateway that allows multiple users to connect to multiple on-premises data sources. This type of gateway is well suited to complex scenarios with multiple people accessing multiple data sources. The second type of gateway is, is on-premises data gateway, the personal mode, that allows one user to connect to sources and cannot be shared with others. It is suitable for Power BI where you are the only person who creates reports and you don't need to share any data sources with others. There are some prerequisites to install and use on premises gateways that you have to keep in consideration. First, you have to sign in with your work or school email address using your credential, the username and the password. And you must have a license to support accessing on premises data using an on premises gateway. Most of the Power Apps and the Power Automate licenses have access to use the gateway with the exception of some of the lower and the Microsoft 365 licenses. And you must have administrative permission on gateway. Actually, the user who installing the gateway is the admin of the gateway. And as an administrator to the gateway, you can grant another user permission to co-administrate the gateway. Be aware, if you are planning to use Windows authentication, Make sure you install the gateway on a computer that is a member of the same Active Directory environment as the data sources. And it is recommended to restart the gateway after each time you modify the gateway's configuration. If you want to avoid failure for on premises data, use cluster. As the cluster selects the gateway's admins to avoid having a single point of failure for on premises data access. So it is recommended to make a cluster. Now we will go for a demo to create and manage gateways. In this demo we will learn how to install gateways and how to install clusters and we will learn how to configure on-premises data gateways. Let's begin our demo. You will find the installed gateways from the Make Power Apps site in the data section, gateways, 
if you install the any gateways you will find the gateways here now we will install new gateway click new gateway and then download the gateway on premises data gateway download after the downloading of the gateway file complete run the file this is the default bus for the gateway click accept the terms of use install it will installing the gateway the gateway runs on the computer that you install to it be sure to install it on a computer that is always turned on the gateway has been installed enter the email address for your office 365 organization account and then click sign in after entering the email the gateway is associated with your office 365 organization account it requests your credential to microsoft azure enter your email and then the password and then sign in register a new gateway on this computer or you can recover a damaged gateway we will register a new gateway on this computer click next enter a name for the gateway it must be unique across the tenant if you have already another gateway and you want to make a cluster check this checkbox add to an existing gateway cluster and choose the available gateway cluster from the drop down list but here it is the first gateway i will uncheck this checkbox the recovery key this key if you ever want to recover or move your gateway you must remember the recovery key so enter a recovery key confirm the recovery key in this form you have to make sure that the region of the gateways is the region of your environment if the region not the region of your environment click change region as it is not possible to change the region of the gateways that already installed so you will need to do the setup from scratch if you installed the gateways with incorrect region you will not see the gateways in your environment then click configure now the gateway installed this is the information about your gateway status of the gateway service you can restart the gateway after each change of the configuration of the gateway close you can use the on-premises data gateway on creating your apps for example we will create sharepoint app using gateways create an app using sharepoint you will have two options connect directly using cloud service or using on-premises data gateway i will choose it and enter the username and the password choose a gateway this is the gateway my gateway if you can't see the gateway that you installed click refresh or make sure that the gateway is in the same region as the region of your environment and then click create and follow the steps as a normal sharepoint enter your website and create your app back to our lesson we finished our lesson in this lesson we have learned what are gateways and how gateways work is and how to install and manage gateways. Thank you.